Hey guys, how's it going? Got my LMTV here with my camper box on the back of it and I wanted to talk a little bit about my hydronic heating that I have to keep my um, engine warm or warm it up before I started up on those really cold days. So it went to about 29 degrees last night. Um, it's 36 right now, it's still freezing cold. And it's just really rough on the engine when you start it um, in the cold. And instead of doing a block heater, um, there was one for about 120 bucks that I was getting installed, but usually I'm camping off grid and I can't plug into shore power. So um, my friend suggested that I do a hydronic heating and I couldn't afford the actual system. Um, and so I just, um, we came up with a, another way to do it. So I wanted to share that with you. Okay, so we got the trucks here. Um, right now I am parked on farm, but the 1997 Sewer and Siemens Stern M1078 LMTV. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and lift the cab so you guys can see my setup. And I'll do a quick walkthrough and show you how it works. And then I'll run it and get the truck started up and show you guys um, how effective it seems to be for me. All right, so uh, most of you guys are familiar, so just do cab tilt raise, set it to cab tilt, and I don't have the truck started up right now, so it's not exactly gonna go up all the way, I don't believe, but you can see it's starting to raise. Um, and then I'll just use the hand crank after that, uh, after the air in the system runs out. Okay, so we got the cab lifted most of the way. Let's go around to the other side and check it out. Okay, so obviously this is the coolant tank right here. Goes to the engine. I hope this is raised enough because I got tired of waiting. But essentially what we got here is I have a propane tank. I got an instant propane hot water heater and I have a pump. Okay, this is just a regular um, liquid water pro, um pump this is seaflow i believe um and let me show you kind of my setup so basically what this allows me to do is i am pumping coolant out of the engine into my pump through the instant hot water heater and then pumping it back into the engine on a cold day day today i'm going to run it for about 20 minutes before starting it up and it usually starts up really 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 well so super happy with it um let me show you where I pull the lines out. So in theory, this is actually really simple, okay? Here's my two lines that are running to the back there. I'm on the other side now. Um, and these are shutoff valves here. But essentially, what we got going on is we got our, if I'm understanding this correctly, our thermostat up here, and we got our water pump right right there okay so there is a line that comes up to the thermostat this one right here goes down here i'm pumping into that one and i'm pumping up this direction with a y i'll show you in a sec and then the one that comes if i can find it this one that comes out of the water pump i believe it's out of the water pump i'm pumping out of that one so i'm pumping out of this one and into the one that goes to the thermostat okay so we're gonna go under just so i can show you best it looks like i got a oil leak i didn't know that that's good to know okay um so here's our y's right off here these are going to the front i believe it's the heater um, but I'm pulling, there's the blue one that goes to the water pump. I'm going to try to make sure to get this right. Blue one comes from the water pump. The green one comes from the thermostat. So I have them in, I have a Y, I believe they're three quarter inch, uh, hoses. And then I reduce it down to a five eighths for the hose to one run to the back. And I just feed it along here. Um, that kind of looks like a bad oil leak. I didn't really need to get that checked out. Um, so this is kind of my setup here. I have them see how to notice the direction it's pulling from and no, actually it's pulling from 
going to my pump and then it's returning warm on this one going straight into the engine okay so this is just where we were following it up it goes on the inside i have the turn off valves i'm going to open them up okay give me a minute to open these okay, up so they are opened up they are all five eighths inch hoses and they go back back there um and then goes to my oh where is it uh my pump there it is it's a little orange label right now it's just all temporarily um held in place by my handy ratchet straps but i'll secure it later so there's my pump it goes into my pump and then from my pump it goes into the inflow of the hot water heater and then it runs the hot water heater um these are the settings they have it on for now high and then a little bit of water um so less water more heat that's just what i have it on right now and it's been working and then it comes out and goes right back into the green hose okay um then this is the runs to the propane tank I'm guessing this propane tank is going to last me about a month, maybe two months. Um, and let's fire it up and see what happens. I have the pump um, wires running. Oh, let me show you. Sorry. Right there. And it goes through, through there. This should be fun to climb up here while it's tilted. And... The pump wires come through the floor. Um, you can see the red wire, not where it comes out, but you can see the red wire here. It comes along here. I have it really long. That way when I lift the cab, it can have extra wire to pull through. That way I can work around it. And then when I lower the cab, I'll just make sure to pull the wire tight under there so it doesn't get caught on anything. Runs up to here. There's the posts. I can take that off and show you, but basically I have it to a switch right here. Okay, so you might be able to hear that. Um, it's just pumping through. Um, pumping through, heating it, and then sending it right back into the engine. I leave this running for about 10 to 20 minutes. 10 minutes on a semi-cold day and 20 minutes on a pretty cold day. I've not had below 20 degrees yet, so I'm not sure how long it would need to run. But after 20 minutes, the engine, you can feel it on the sides especially this side, um, you can feel it really um, pretty warm. And so that's been, so far has been working for me. Pump has been running for about three to four minutes. Um, I did want to share this. So right here I have a fuse. It's 40 amp fuse for this pump. Um, and I can try to share the link for the um, for the pump and the hot water heater. Um, and then all the fittings, um, I went up to my Napa, I told them what I wanted to do, and they helped me find all the fittings. Um, I ended up using a bunch of metal ones, um, a few plastic ones. I think next time in order to save, um, save some money, I could do plastic because it ended up being a lot more expensive than I thought. Um, and I need to go check it because it just turned off. Not sure what's happening. Okay, so this was perfect. Uh, I kind of feel like an idiot um, after this happened. But basically, the wire that I was running was not rated for the 40 amps current. Um, and I kind of knew that installing it, um, or I kind of guessed it um, for like just a set, quick setup just to make sure my system would work. That's the wire I ran. Um, so I'm going to go back and do 14 gauge wire, I believe, will be good um, for this. And so it basically just melted my switch and I lost the connection. So I'm going to have to get a thick, thicker wire for the fuse relay or whatever that's called. And then thicker wire for um, sending the power back there. Okay, so now what we got going is it's been running for about 10 minutes, maybe 15. And you're going to feel one of the hoses get warm and then the other one slowly will start to get warm as it circulates all the coolant through so this one is coming directly from the heater so it is nice and warm and this one isn't cold it's not warm yet um and sometimes i can feel in here to see if the engine's getting warm it's not freezing cold but it doesn't feel warm yet so i'm gonna keep it going for another 10 minutes okay so it has been running for about 20 minutes okay this right here 
Eh, it's not cold. It's just about like it doesn't feel cold or it doesn't feel warm. But right up here, right there, this is warm. Sorry, it's blurry. Um, that feels medium, a little warmer than the bottom. That's warm. So I think it's ready to start up. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna turn the pump off, which will turn the hot water heater off, and get it with a startup. Okay, so let's do this right. All right, I'm still elevated, so it feels kind of weird to start it up like this, but. Um, my air is out because it lifted the cab. Let's, I'm going to push the button while I show you the back because normally a lot of blue smoke pours out the back if it's really cold. Let's start her up. So my take on that was it started up pretty smoothly. It had a little bit of a, I can't think of the word, but like it kind of died down and then it picked up. It did that a couple times, which was a little unusual for this truck actually. I was kind of surprised it did that. Um, but that was a start in 36 degrees. So I'm pretty happy with that. It ran it for about 20 minutes, um, maybe 25 minutes, but um, really happy with it. And then what I'll do now is go ahead and obviously drop the cab. I'll close the valves. I'm gonna close those. That way those are cut off from the system. No need to keep them in. Um, but that's kind of what's been working for me in order to uh, start my engine on those really cold days. So thanks for, thanks for checking this out and I uh, hope you guys are able to find a way to keep your engines um, running safely and starting up safely in the winter. Oh, and lastly, um, I do have the pump connected up to the, connected up to the truck batteries. Um, and it has not drained my batteries. My batteries are pretty healthy. Um, I just checked the tanking amps, tanking amps on them and they're pretty healthy. So for me, it doesn't drain my battery. My truck still starts up just fine, even after the running the pump for 20, 25 minutes. Normally, on a day like today, my truck would be knocking, starting it up cold, no warming up the engine, no block heater, no, no other hydronic heating that I have installed right now. Um, it would be knocking for about 15 to 30 seconds, and then it would pour out so much blue smoke and just seems like it's really unhealthy for the engine. Um, so this just helps keep my engine um, from wearing itself out prematurely.